Hey there, my name's Nader Nader Najad, and I travel the world while fixing people's reputations. I also help other people travel, get started, and launch up like a rocket. So if that's you, be sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell, because in today's video, which is better for digital nomads? Bangkok, Thailand, or Chiang Mai? So you're a digital nomad, you run an online business, and you're traveling the world, and you're wondering, hey, where should I go for working online? Even if you haven't started yet, you want to know where is the best place? Where, where is it going to lend itself to your productivity? Where is it going to be more comforting for you? Where are you going to meet more like-minded people? And hands down, I'm going to tell you 100% off the bat, spoiler, Chiang Mai. Out of Bangkok and Chiang Mai, 100% Chiang Mai. And I'm going to give you five reasons why, so stay tuned. I'm going to walk around with you, take you along on an adventure here in Chiang Mai, and tell you about why Chiang Mai lends itself better to digital nomads, and why people who say it doesn't matter and it's only a matter of opinion don't really know what they're talking about. I have a text message. So I'm just taking the elevator right now, and I'm going to give you my top five reasons why I think Chiang Mai is better than Bangkok for digital nomads. Let's go. Door. So I just ordered a grab bike to my hotel here in Chiang Mai and my main reason for Chiang Mai being a lot better is that you can get anywhere accessibly if you put yourself near the Namont area. In Bangkok, there might be things near King Power you might want to see, there might be things in Sukhumvit you want to see, there might be things in Palasan Road you want to see. There are so many places in Bangkok. Bangkok's not necessarily designed to lend itself to a digital nomad community. Bangkok is designed to be Bangkok. It's fun and it can serve that purpose, but it's not there for that reason. It's there for the reason of being Bangkok, and if you like that city, you like the bigness of it, then Bangkok is going to be up your alley. If you're looking for simplicity, which is what a lot of digital nomads like I am are looking for, as well as, you know, having nice nature intertwined with everything and being able to go to these places easily without having to think about it, this is much easier because you just go near Naman and you have a ton of places that are designed specifically to cater to that community. That's that's really what Chiang Mai is striving to be, it seems. See where my bike is. Reason number two, Chiang Mai has an abundance of beautiful coffee shops which of course help us digital nomads out a lot. Right now I'm at Clay Studio Cafe which combines a coffee shop with a lot of great artwork and a garden. So let's go inside. I found this from someone's Instagram post. Sometimes it just browse hashtags and uh, find what's new in, in any city I'm traveling in. One thing I look for when traveling the world and working online is nature. And you're not going to get as much nature in Bangkok that you're going to get in Chiang Mai. So I'm at a coffee shop right now. I'm right beside a hotel. This is the Clay Cafe. If you look up Clay Cafe and artwork or just Clay Cafe on Google and you get here, it will pop up. It's got a really nice garden. It's a little bit out of the way from the main district like the Maya Mall and the Naman area, but it's very nice in terms of all the nature that you're going to get here. The hotel has some amazing architecture and the staff is really friendly. So I recommend if you're coming through Chiang Mai to check this place out. So I'm going to get a little bit of work done here and then let's go around and talk a little bit more about some of the perks that Chiang Mai has for digital nomads that Bangkok might not necessarily have. So we've moved on, we're at camp at Maya Mall, and the point of this video isn't to 
sell you on Chiang Mai over Bangkok. The point of this video is to tell you why I prefer it for co-working and why I prefer it for being a digital nomad, but it's not necessarily supposed to completely change your mind, and I really don't mind. You might like Bangkok better, especially if you like the big city feel and you don't you know, you're not really into the coffee shops with the faster upload speeds. Um, you know, that sort of lifestyle. We're at camp at the top of Maya. This place is incredible. It has so many plugs and outlets here. Uh, the internet is pretty fast, uh, but sometimes it can be slow. It can go down to four, five, six megabits per second. So that's not extremely fast if you have to do video upload. But if you're just coming here to send some emails, you know, you're writing something, or you're just responding to your students, or you're doing drop shipping, like this is a really good place to get started. So I really recommend Chiang Mai because of its variety of co-working spaces that are placed conveniently around town and the traffic isn't too bad here either compared to Bangkok which can be you know very busy now I did love Bangkok but the the traffic here is just you get that breeze you can actually ride through traffic without being afraid that you're going to you know hit a car because in in Bangkok you're going right between cars and it's like you're going in and out of traffic and you might have to go you know quite a far away I was in Lab Prow so I had to go quite far to actually get to get the places to work with a fast internet here everything is conveniently plotted around and the population is pretty small the population of Chiang Mai is around hundred and eighty one thousand people so that's a smaller population than Halifax Nova Scotia in Canada but for some reason it seems more happening like it seems like there's more happening you have a whole expat community you have the Thai community you have people from all around the world coming here to work online and to enjoy themselves lastly I want to recommend Chiang Mai because I'm finding it cheaper than Bangkok Bangkok was a lot of fun but I do find up north like northern Thailand to be a little bit less expensive um, all of my meals here are like 60 baht max whereas in Chiang Mai I was finding my meals were around 120 to 160 baht mind you they were nicer meals but I can get the same sort of meals I'm finding in Chiang Mai much more accessibly I'm sure you could find them cheaper in Bangkok but here it seems accessible it's walkable it's more walkable and as a nomad you don't want to have to jump on a grab every single day so I really recommend this for you um, check out camp at Maya if you're coming here I'm gonna be dropping more gems so be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell again my name's not a not on a jet and thank you for watching